Thank you for listening to our daily devotional on our daily Bible reading. The lesson today is, you're kidding, right? You ever done something and somebody say, why did you do that? And then whenever the excuse is heard, you know that they got to be thinking, you're kidding, right? I mean, some of the excuses we come up with, some of the explanations, we get up our, after our children and you know, who did this? I don't know. Well, maybe there's an elephant in the room. And we know how foolish that is. Well, in our reading uh, yesterday, in Exodus, the 32nd chapter, here was Moses. He had uh, been upon the mount, God speaking to him, giving him the tables of stone. And then God tells him, said, you need to go down. And he talked about the rebellious people. And Moses interceded for the people that uh, God wouldn't reject them. But whenever he got back, you, you find in Exodus, uh, the 32nd chapter, he saw the, the calves and that had been fashioned, that the people were worshiping, and he was angry, threw down the stones, the, the tables of stone, and he confronted Aaron. You look and you find in chapter 32 and verse 19, it says, uh, as it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, he saw the calf, the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot cast the tables out of his hands, break them beneath the mount. He took the calf, which they had made, and burned it in the fire, ground it to powder, strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Israel to drink it. And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people unto thee, that thou hast brought so great a sin upon thee? Now there he's saying, you know, looking, and you know, whenever people do something sinful, you think there's got to be some amazing thing, some terrible thing, some tragic thing that happened to them. What could cause them to do it? So whenever he says, you know, what did this people unto thee? And Aaron said, let not the anger of my Lord wax hot. Thou knowest the people, they're set on mischief. In other words, you know, them; they're a mischievous people. Shouldn't be surprised at what happened. And then he said that they said, make us gods which go before us, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us out of the land of Egypt, we want not what has become of him. So Aaron is looking to Moses and saying, you know, you're asking me what happened. Where have you been? The people were wondering, you're not coming back. And you got to think that Moses looked at him, and if it had been Jack Williams, he looked at Aaron and said, you're kidding, right? I mean, how could they come up with such a foolish thing? But you read that and it's sadly reminiscent of what the Bible begins with as sin enters the world. There's Adam and Eve. God says, who told you this? And the man says, the woman you gave me. The woman says, the serpent made me. And all the while, God knows, whether it be Adam and Eve, whether it be Aaron and the others, he knows, I've given you the ability to make choices of right and wrong. And I expect you to choose right. Whenever we choose wrong, one of the worst things we can do is be like Aaron. Well, you know, the people out here, did you ever look at yourself? Do you see what you caused me to do? You know, all of these things are just excuses. Sure, there are pressures around, pressures in the world that can influence us, but God says you don't have to give in to them. He tells us through James that even if it were the devil himself, like with Eve, he said, you draw it out of me, you resist the devil, he'll flee from me. He doesn't have any choice. We need to realize he has told us, 1 Corinthians 15, 33, evil companionship. In other words, watch out who you're with. But he told us to Ezekiel, you don't follow a multitude to do evil. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. It doesn't matter what they say. And the fact is, we need to take responsibility for self. You know, I'm amazed and saddened by the things that Aaron said and the people did. But if you look at the, uh, look at the, the following, it says uh, that Moses stood in verse 26. 
he stood at the side of the in the gate of the camp and he said who is on the lord's side you think about that he said aaron you and all the others you've done these things and you need to make up your mind whose side you're on are you on the lord's side and if you are <clears throat> he said went on and said the the children of levi they came to him and Moses said, uh, consecrate yourselves, even unto uh, yourselves today, even every man upon his son, upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. And so there, he said, you've sinned this great sin. And he told them, you go out and you've got to fight against the evildoers, the sinners. Doesn't matter who they are. Friends, family, if you're going to follow God, you've got to decide to be with God. Anything else, the excuses we make, you got to think that if God were a man, he'd look at us, look at us and just look us down and say, you're kidding, right? How foolish we are to make those excuses. Instead of turning to God for the strength, the Lord said in Matthew 11, come unto me all you labor and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. As we noted in James, uh, he tells us, Draw an eye to God, resist the devil, the devil will flee from you. The apostle Paul, he faced all of those things and he said, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. Let's not be kidders. All we're doing is kidding ourselves. We'll never kid God because we stand before him with our heart, our life open to him. Let's choose the right way. Let's choose to be on God's side. And if we do that, we'll have a great day. Thank you for listening. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.